Hey there, my name is Kurosh and in this video I'm going to show you how you can write emails on Outlook with your voice and some AI magic. So check this out. I'm currently on Outlook and when I click on the email body, I get this little blue dot here. When I hover over it, I get this microphone. Hey Tom, are you still on for lunch tomorrow? Let me know. All the best, Max. And then I click on it again. Whenever I'm done, it will load and it will give me the email, which is perfect. The best thing about this, though, is that it already handles the punctuation, so I don't have to speak it out. So, for example, hey, Tom, comma, still on for lunch tomorrow, question mark, period, comma, period. Perfect, right? Now, check this out. This was just half of it. When I hover over it again, I also get this little star icon, and this will allow me to speak to AI directly to generate me emails. So, for example, write an email to Tom asking him if he's still on for lunch tomorrow. And now it will load a little bit, and there you go. Email's right here. Perfect, right? So let me show you how I do this. I use a tool called Voicey, and it's a Chrome extension or a Windows app that you can download. There are other apps out there who can do this, but I just use Voicey. And as soon as you add it to your Chrome, you can then go back to Outlook, and then on Outlook, you will also get this blue element here. And all you then have to do is click on the microphone to start recording or click on the star to speak to ChatGPT directly. Now, if you don't want to click on it all the time, that's fine. You can also use the control plus space keyboard shortcut or any other keyboard shortcut that you set yourself. So in my example, I'm now holding down control plus space. And then when I lift my fingers, it will just give me the transcript right here perfectly. Now, writing emails with your voice isn't just a great way to boost your productivity or write professional looking emails, but it's also a great way to reduce the strain that we put on our fingers and wrists when we're working on the computer every single day. That is the main reason why I use voice typing myself. I just really want to avoid carpal tunnel syndrome. But hey, give it a try. Let me know what you think. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. And if you want to see more productivity content, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.